And so also built off of your point, Angela. We're building. We're, we're building. building. We're building box. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Tetris. Um, matter let's get started and talk a little bit about what grassroots organizing really is people mean really different things when they're talking about it so let's just start off and talk about what we mean what is grassroots organizing I think it's really important in grassroots organizing and what we try to do at the working families party is meet people where they're at it's really about questioning how where people are at what are their daily experiences how they want to participate and how to act because organizing is different for different people different people can um, do different things based on their jobs, based on who they take care of, and all of these things, and then figure out what the solutions are for folks, and also struggle together. Like, it's not just easy and everybody's like, yes, we all agree. It is actually a, a debate, and it is sharing different experiences across the board, and I think when, when people act together, that's what grassroots organizing is about. There's there's something that's that's sort of underlying a lot of this, and that's this idea of, of, of support with accountability, right? Mm -hmm. that, that a lot of grassroots organizing Will, it allows people to coalesce around candidates with an understanding that there will it's a it's a continuing conversation as Absolutely. opposed to it being like you do all this work and then you get to endorsement and then everyone's 100 percent on the same side a, a big part of black women for's endorsement of senator warren was this idea of accountability not perfection i have never engaged with a presidential candidate at this level honestly because i've never seen a presidential candidate that i wanted to be sure. as in direct accountable relationship with as I, or that i trusted as much as i do senator warren i think it also matters um, who you're accountable to. I think the campaign is a really good moment to mm -hmm. see who a candidate would be accountable to or what communities a candidate mm -hmm. would be accountable to. It's why um, it's it's great to see that um, Senator Warren not taking donations from, you know, um, really wealthy people or are, are really trying to uh, limit access to those kind of behind-the-scenes fundraisers because it matters who you're accountable to. That's a signal of who you're going to be giving time to, mm -hmm. right? So when Senator Warren is sitting down with a circle of black women organizers and activists instead of sitting down right. in a room yep. full of um, uh, insurance executives, right. you know, or fossil fuel, uh, you know, CEOs. That matters. That's a signal of who she's going to be in community, right. who she's going to be accountable to. And, and I think that that's just as folks need to be paying attention to that as much as they're paying attention to how much money someone's raising or um, you know what their particular policies are. Okay, that is that's that's great, and I love this theme of of support and endorsement not being so much an ideology but a methodology, something that you engage in continually. So let's talk about this movement and this coalition we need to win because there's a lot of discussion about that, and there's a lot of conversation I think that is asking questions like, you know, are the, the big, bold, very progressive ideas, are they too divisive? You know, can we pull together a di the diverse enough coalition around the big ideas, or do we need to go smaller? So first, I think that it, you, you need a big coalition to win, especially what we're facing within these times. And also, when you actually go knocking on doors, people are suffering from the same things. They might say it differently, right. mm -hmm. because we all have different ways of what, how we talk, right. where we grew up. Um, but people are suffering from the same things. People are suffering from student loan debt. People are suffering from not having options of education. I think a really great example is that when um, the senator was in Kermit, West Virginia, she was explaining housing um, and, and the lack of housing there, and she talked about redlining, and she, t she didn't forget or just skim over that right. it impacted black communities, that it was made so that black communities right. could be segregated. We want the history, we want to know what's happening, and we want the solutions. Right. There is a clear story to tell, and Senator Warren does it amazingly, right. mm -hmm. um, and I think that it's a misconception that you have to, you know, push one side over here or contour yeah. yourself. I think that the way to build a coalition that can beat Trump and also enact the big policies and the structural change that we all know that we need is to talk about it put all of the cards on the table and invite people in to be a part of the solutions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People are telling us mm -hmm. this is not the moment for, mm -hmm. you know, we, we need to focus. It's just about beating Donald Trump and we need to take the sort of, like, the, the, the path of least resistance to get there. Mm -hmm. Why not dream big 
-hmm. and fight hard, mm -hmm. right? Like, why not do that? Right. Like, because we're going to get actually face the same, the same kind of um, rhetoric that they're going to just spew over and over again throughout the general election. And the other thing that's at stake is that we have to actually motivate people to get out and vote. And right. I think that if we don't have someone inspiring at the top of the ticket, if we go back to this like compar compartmentalizing the voter base, we're, we're actually doing the exact thing that the right wing wants us to do. Mm -hmm. We're dividing and conquering instead mm -hmm. of actually unifying right. and taking the helm. Right. How cool is that, right? Yeah. Like, to, to have a background in movement work and for that to be sort of the prism through which I always saw social change. It was mm -hmm. always going to be through social justice. And a politician could be, uh, you know, like someone you bring along and maybe work with, but the idea that they could actually lead in that process was not something that I really believed on a fundamental level. This is a campaign that is operating how I understand social change to work, and that is it is amplifying and it is centering and it is replicating the structures that social justice movements have tried to, you know, sort of push forward. What I've actually seen is um, Senator Warren being able to, like you said, talk about um, the issues in this, the same way across audiences, whether she's in Iowa or D.C., um, but then also... Um, connecting even to to Republicans or former Republicans, right. people who are um, <clears throat> not necessarily um, staunch in the like Trump base, but are really responsive to the conversation about corruption, and that that is her number one issue. Folks who um, are like, yeah, actually, it does make sense that the wealthy pay a little bit more because I pay my taxes. Right. I was in uh, Waterloo, Iowa. Um, a couple of weeks ago, um, and we, we stopped by a, a church, and one of the um, deacons, an older black man, and as I was leaving, you know, he was like, I really like Senator Warren, you know, and we need a woman in charge because men, you know, these men for a while, they've really been messing up. And I was like, <laughs> Okay, sir. <laughs> I, you know what? I happen to agree. <laughs> We're not taking any voters for granted, mm -hmm. right? right. We're, right. we're not just, they're not just building and going deep in Iowa and in New Hampshire and in South Carolina and in Nevada. Folks coming together because right. uh, across the spectrum and across the country um, because they feel the urgency of this moment and they also see themselves in this campaign. I, 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 I think it's just um, very inspiring and I would encourage everyone, um, if you can, to get out on some doors, to be in community. The yeah. conversation over in the media and on social media is not the same as when you're actually Absolutely. talking to people mm -hmm. in places um, and in, even in your community. I, I mean, the fact that uh, the first campaign pain event. Uh, uh, yeah. the site of a, a strike, yeah. a strike of a, a immigrant workers, women's strike, yes. like yeah. fighting for a fair work week, fighting for things that we still have to fight for today yeah. and, and telling the story of how we can we can um, change the realm of possibility and that, yes, I will yeah. say that in Kermit, West Virginia. I'll say it in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. I'll say it in whatever, in Iowa, in Waterloo, Iowa, right. Des Moines, like continuing. And I think it's really important to not just box people off because that actually does us no favors. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. There's a lot of questions going around right now. It's like, okay, 2020, in this cycle, what's different? What's right? Mm -hmm. I think, you know, on the good part of this cycle, so many more people are getting involved and progressives have the majority. We cannot forget that. Yes. Like, progressives have yes. the majority. Like, let's just bask in that, right? Absolutely. Like, that is, <laughs> for all the years I've been working, it's very rare, <laughs> <laughs> this level that we've gotten to this place. Yes. So I think that that's super important and, and super amazing and the fact that so many people are getting involved, whether it's contributing, whether it's throwing a party, whether it's going to early states, whether it's traveling, calling, knocking on, whatever the, the litany of things people are doing and people are creating new things. Like there's a karaoke for Warren party tomorrow <laughs> yes. that I'm missing in Brooklyn. I'm so upset. <laughs> but, you know, like, the, so the creativity yeah. is, has been, it, it's amazing. I love this. I'm serious. We could do this forever. I, I do. Know. Yeah, I'm you know. <laughs> next and time we'll do it over brunch or some cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> and then this conversation will get very interesting. <laughs> <laughs>